Yeah, hey everybody, this is Ian and it is Sunday, January 28th. As most of you know who listen to my stuff, I always get the date wrong. In this case, I'm pretty sure I'm right. All right, so this email just went out uh, to my list in the last like 15 minutes or so, but I wanna share something that I think is really impactful really uh, beneficial to those of you who are looking at launching a directory or authority site and are using uh, the email invite or the cold email model. So uh, the first part of this email just went out to my list. Uh, basically, is an invite to join our free community. Uh, this is launching on February 1st. There's already a lot of content there, uh, but it's primarily geared towards authors and teachers and coaches because uh, that's the market that we're competing in starting in February. Uh, but if you want to join, love to have you. It's free. It's not going to be free after February. So feel free no pun intended, to join us now. All right, so here is the piece that's relevant to those of you watching this on YouTube or wherever. All right, so uh, typically what I've done in the past is recommend a lot of asks in your invite email. So you wanna explain who you are and uh, introduce why people should be interested in your authority, your expertise, your community, what they're gonna benefit from and or by joining, and then eventually you get to the ask, do this to get that, right? Pretty common email marketing 101 trick. But what, not trick, it's just a, you know, it's a convention, it's what you do. You're gonna ask someone to take an action, there's a call to action, right? This is a simple hack that we've been using that I actually, stole from somebody else. I don't even remember who it was, but I read something like a week ago that just kind of struck me. We should try this. And it was some onboarding guru type guy. And I'm like, you know what? This makes a lot of sense. I'm going to try it. And it's really worked exceptionally well. So here is the um, the difference, right? So in the past, I've been basically saying uh, to join, click here. We'd love to have you, blah, blah, blah. Instead, what I've been doing is now adding some sort of ancillary um, kind of idea, element, notion, fact, such as, did you know that local restaurants who have three or more interior photos of the dining area get 300% more local reservations? And who doesn't want more reservations? Add three photos of your handsome kitchen crew here. All right. So I wrote this. I made up that statistic. Obviously, this was just for the email. But what you're doing is not asking them to join you per se or asking them to click. You're asking them to add pictures to a non-existent profile to get 300% more reservations. Well, guess what? Two things. One, they have to join to add the pictures, right? I mean, that's pretty obvious. And two, you could make theoretically the photos a premium offer, all right? So they could get a free offer and have one photo, but this little factoid is gonna stick in their head and they're gonna to wanna to maybe add, especially if you make overwhelming value, uh, you know, as part and parcel of the premium thing, you know, so that's just one element of the overwhelming offer is the 10 pictures or whatever, you know, amount of pictures is appropriate for your site. All right, so the other piece that you can do to actually use evidence-based marketing, you know, because you don't necessarily, I mean, this isn't true, I just made it up. But one of the things that is true is something like video uh, marketing or video traffic. So you can find just a really standardized piece of uh, research that, you know, is anywhere online. So not let's say in this case, I'm still making this up, but this is some, you know, this is based some, somewhere in some uh, level of truth. 90% of internet traffic is going to be video based by 2020. So it might not be 90%, maybe more than that. It may be less than that. But there is a statistic that states this. So did you know that 90% of internet traffic is going to be video based by 2020? Holy moly, who doesn't love a great video and who doesn't love more traffic? Show off your pizza making wizardry by adding an entertaining video to your listing here.
right? And this is also a great way of selling a very specific sort of service as an online agency. Let's say you have some, you know, Moxie or Mojo in the video marketing kind of universe. Guess what? There is your setup, right? You just created the actual offer, uh, you know, urgency that you are, or the offer, um, energy, let's call it, that you're actually going to be selling. Or, you know, you could partner with another local uh, or, you know, worldwide video marketing company who does that as an affiliate. Or you could actually, I mean, there are just so many different ways of being imaginative with this and selling services predicated on data research that you're incorporating in an email to actually compel more clicks. All right. So this all works beautifully well together. All right. So the idea, again, is ask something don't tell them to do something, ask them something. And what we're finding, and I've just tested this in the past week on one of our spiritual uh, kind of directories where we're featuring people in the psychic and medium kind of marketplace that we're getting, and again, I'm agnostic about psychics and mediums, but I'm not agnostic about the fact that that's a really good niche. So, you know, so one of the things that we found is asking a question in this call to action area really amplifies and uh, you know up regulates the amount of people who are clicking even if it's just a curiosity click even if those folks are just uh, clicking for curiosity so i'll tell you purely honestly what we're doing is interviews so i'm, I'm contacting people who have books actually hired someone to do this. So I'm not doing the contacting, but I'm writing the copy. And we're actually saying, did you know that books that have an interview with the author, with the author, uh, get X, Y, Z amount more of this, that, and the other thing, which, you know, translates into more book sales and more bookings for the author. And this has really been fairly transformative in terms of uh, the email conversion rate just in the last week or so. And I totally stole this idea. I mean, I modified it somewhat to meet our needs, like adding kind of a um, sort of, an, you know, an, an off the cuff uh, question rather than what the guy who was, you know, recommending this process was recommending. I'm now saying this very badly. You get the point. But Basically, you can modify mine any way you choose. And I really would be surprised if you didn't, for those of you who are using the email invite or cold email uh, seeding process, I'd be very surprised if you didn't also have some great results. All right. I hope this was helpful. And if you'd like to join our free community, it's up here. I have a link on YouTube. This actually was in the email. So I'll put the link in the YouTube video and on a couple of different places that I post content, and I hope that you'll join us. All right. Thanks so much, and have a great Sunday.